G'day guys and welcome to the tips for round 12. Uh, as you can see I've got a bit of a microphone going. Hopefully uh, my stand arrives soon. So um, currently I'm just looking like a TV presenter on a game show or something. Uh, we'll go through how I've gone in round 11 which isn't amazing but uh, to this stage, so we've got this game in sort of incoming. Uh, I've tipped the Suns to win this game so it'll be very interesting but I went Richmond, um, I also went St Kilda, so yeah, wasn't quite what I was after, but I got seven right the week before, <laughs> seven out of seven, so that wasn't too bad, we'll take that, but we'll move into round 12, and if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard, uh, chuck your tips down below, subscribe away so you can keep up to date with all the reviews and catch reviews that I sort of get up to. First game up, we've got Sydney and the GWS Giants. This one's at Optus Stadium. I like the Giants here. They've got, as we know, a really good midfield um, sort of occurring there. So um, I think they'll be tough to beat. I don't think Tobias Green will be playing for a little bit. So uh, we'll see how they go. But I think against a lower-ranked side in Sydney, probably get the job done. And they haven't lost to them recently. Um, almost need Buddy Franklin to kick five for them to win. But... Sydney will be unpredictable and it won't be easy, but yeah, I'll say about the Giants, just around that four goal range, maybe just under. Geelong have Port Adelaide. This one's at Metricon Stadium. Uh, Port Adelaide played amazing footy at Metricon for most of the year, as they've had to do in their hub, and they've been really good there. Geelong, um, their past month has been pretty faultless. Obviously, good lead against the Eagles, but that just uh, didn't quite stick for the rest of the game. I'm going Port Adelaide. Um... They really impressed me with the way they beat the Tigers at home. Obviously, this is an Adelaide Oval. Um, traditionally, we don't play good footy at Metricon, so kind of banking that in and kind of banking Port Adelaide are just a touch better side than us. So we'll be close, though, and we'll be interesting to see the ins and outs, but I think Port Adelaide probably a little bit tough around that midfield, but we'll, we'll wait and see. North Melbourne then have Brisbane. This one's at Metricon Stadium also. I'm backing in the lines here. They can't do too much wrong at the minute. Their um, big forward, Hipwood, is firing. And their midfield has just been um, on fire all year. So they'll be pretty tough to beat. North, not a very good side of the minute. So I'd say, say the line's pretty comfortably there. Probably in a 7-8 goal, maybe more. 50-50 coming up here. We've got Melbourne and Collingwood. This one's at the Gabba. Very tough game to pick here. Um, however, I'm going to go with Melbourne. I've liked their form, and I think the Pies are a touch vulnerable at the minute. See who they have come back in. Um, I might change depending on any crazy ins, but yeah, they're just a little bit down on um, yeah their normal output, and Melbourne have had to put together a few really good weeks, so I think that should stem through to this game. It's a massive game. They have to win. Both sides will want to win to try and steal themselves a uh, chance for finals. Fremantle will have Carlton. This one's at Optus Stadium. I feel like Carlton got them last time with the Mark Murphy magician goal right at the end. I've really enjoyed watching Freo play at times. They have um, they don't get massive scores and they always let the opposition in with a bit of a chance. But they got Hawthorne accounted for last week and probably said to the Hawks fans, you've got to rebuild. Um, I like the young guys and they've been playing some decent footy and they're very disciplined. So I think the Dockers just, I think Carlton have sort of wavered a little bit. But um, interesting game, that's for sure. I'd say the Dockers in a very close one. Home ground getting me across the line. The Western Bulldogs have Adelaide. This one's at Metricon Stadium. And I think the Dogs just get the job done here. Adelaide, I think they've got to beat either Carlton or the Hawks or they might be facing a 0-17 season, which would not be ideal at all. But yeah, the Dogs too good around the midfield for mine. St Kilda then have the Bombers at the Gabba. So depending on the, how the Bombers go tonight, unless they win by 10 goals, uh, I'll probably be sticking with the Saints on this one to respond. Um, yeah, they... Cats took them to the cleaners a little bit. Um, don't know if they had sort of their absolute best team in, but yeah, Geelong sort of put them to the sword or where they could to try and bank a win there. But yeah, again, their midfield, their running the speed and carry leads me to go to the Saints on this occasion. And then for the final game, we've got West Coast and Hawthorne at Optus Stadium also. Hard to go past the Eagles at home and Hawthorne have been ordinary. Although they did win here last uh, around this time last year. Late last year, the Hawks got the job done at Optus, which sort of derailed the Eagles' top four chances. 
that will not be happening on what's that? That's on a Sunday night. That's uh, not much of a chance there. So I think the Eagles pretty comfortably there. Final game of round 12. We have Richmond and Gold Coast. This one's at the Gabba. The Tigers love playing at the Gabba, and they've been in pretty good touch. They um, went down to Port Adelaide, who are probably one of the best sides in it, uh, and on their home ground without a few of their stars. But I think, yeah, at, against the Suns, they will probably account for them in that sort of maybe five-goal range. So there you go, guys. Uh, that, that's my sort of wrap-up for round 12 for the tips. Um, hope you enjoyed, and chuck your tips down below. Give the video a like, subscribe away. We're getting so close to 1,000, it's, and it's so exciting. So, um Really appreciate your time, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next video.